And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved. Rushed to the T4. Not rushed, but we're on the road to Tier 4. So we've got a quite a considerable drop here to tin. And copper is just, just below the surface. And it's a lot of copper. And I did find... Uh, in between episodes, I went to grab some more wood, so I've got a bunch more wood to, to process. And I found another, like, 8 million vein of tin right on the other side of this um, area over here. So there's a huge amount of tin just over that hill. Um, and, you know, I'll eventually be flattening most of this terrain out um, and getting it, uh, getting it good here. Uh, I want to do a, a mine shaft um, down to iron. Oh, I fell down the hole. I want to do a mine shaft to iron right down over here. Uh, it's kind of a natural sink for all the slimes. And uh, I do want to build a, a slime trap somewhere, but I'd like to have it flattened out if I can. Um, and to do that is going to require a lot of power and a lot of patience. So to uh, get this going, as you can see, uh, the new help system up in this corner up here, right by the environmental hazard level, there's a new help system to kind of help you find your way through the game. Uh, and it is pretty useful. Uh, it kind of gives you direction on what to do next. Uh, we want uh, basic mining upgrades and we want suit upgrades. Let's see what suit upgrades we can do right now. Um, no, we can't do that one. We could do Arthur Pot Battery Core, but we have really no way of charging him up yet. Uh, it, it's really not, uh, and this needs lithium too as well. So we're kind of stuck. Uh, I would love to do solar panel, but we need lithium for that. Um, so as far as recipes go, we could do our solar cell. Um, we could do battery pack, suit headlight I'm not worried about right now, basic drill motor, as well as unlocking the basic smelter and the forced induction. This will help us smelt faster. But first, I would like to build some conveyors. And to do that, uh, we're going to want quite a lot of mm -hmm. conveyor belts. So first of all, let's automate some let's automate some copper going up. So we want uh, copper going up over. Um, let's actually go down to this level. I kind of like to reset or recess my conveyors that way I'm not hopping over them all the time um, and let's put the copper that I've got in there just because I don't want to keep that on me at all times so this will load copper automatically from here to here for tin I want to do something similar to tin uh, but I don't really have the bars to do it with the regular conveyor belts uh, I could make another roughly 19, uh, which would mean that would be 32, and I don't think that's going to be far enough. So let's build them anyway. So there's 20. Uh, can we build the forest induction? We can. I'm going to do that instead. Just because this will smelt way faster now. And it will be able to keep up with, say, the copper mines that we upgrade eventually. Uh, it will stay updated. So let's look at grabbing the tin that's in here. And just including that into the process. Just so we get um, enough material so now that this thing is smelting a little bit faster, it's uh, actually quite a bit faster, uh, we're able to um, progress a little bit better. So let's see. We have a little bit of 
let's square ourselves away here. I'm kind of going with the base design that I came up with in my previous world. Uh, I kept every bit of the base uh, smelting, all that stuff, just below the surface. Uh, is that one done? Nope. Let's do that one. Uh, I'm out of wood, so let's uh, let's uh, build some more wood. Okay. Lots and lots of it. Uh, make sure those didn't appear here. And now we can just build this out. So I keep the CPH basically isolated up, up on a platform. And then I recess the rest of my base down, you know, about 12 blocks below. So come down here to about minus 12. This is about the level that uh, the, the base will be at right here. And everything else I can do under underneath here. So... With this setup, you know, I've got a lot of slimes down here, which is okay. Let's figure, um, let's first spend a little bit of energy on unknown or known ore. See if there's anything below here. A minimal amount of stuff is below here. So this is a good spot for a mine shaft. So if I want to do a nine by nine. So there's three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So there's a nine there. Um, and one, two, three, four, five. So this is two, three. So I want nine by nine. So I want four on this side and four on this side. So this will be the mine shaft going down and I like to offset it a little bit from where my CPH is just because of the error with ores and stuff that uh, are generated on the zero 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 line uh, they tend to bug out from zero 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 and they're not not as good So there's our basic blueprint for our mine shaft. Now I'm not gonna dig this all by hand. I'm gonna dig down a like a pilot hole and uh, pretty much dig it out from underneath with the excavators. So we've got a nice nine by nine there. Um, I need to raise this up to uh, roughly minus 12 like right here. So these should match up. Yep. So now with this in place, let's uh, go up there. I can uh, create a proper barrier here. And the slimes will just sort of wander around. Not too worried about that. Oh. Wasted a little bit, but that's okay. We got lots of wood around. So there is the basic mine shaft right there. And to finish it off, oh, I am out of power. Taking all the power out of the CPH, but that's okay. That's good. It's good use for it. Um, we're down to the last bit here so let's take some out there see we need way more tin than anything else because our copper now is automated so we're able to free 64 that's good okay let's build this out spider bot doesn't really have a purpose yet we will uh, get to him eventually but I want to make sure that we've got a nice base of operations to work from. A little planning in this, on this level um, goes a long ways towards uh, making the 
mid game a lot easier. So I want to put a torch and color it just like that. That will be the main mine shaft that we use initially. Eventually we're going to, whoa, my keyboard's stuck. Eventually we're gonna need to use cargo lifts and all that kind of stuff. But early game, uh, I like having a central mine shaft. So I'll get all of this squared away. So we've got lots, we've got uh, 18, almost 1900 left. So we've got plenty, plenty of wood to go around. Um, and let's, uh, oh, I need to actually craft the torches. Uh, there they are. Crafting. You have to craft the torches to be able to copy and paste when they're colorized. So let's uh, build this side out a little bit. Copy, paste, paste. This gives us a nice platform that we can dig down to find iron and lithium and eventually titanium and nickel and all the good stuff that those come with. Uh, let's do one more. One more. There we go. Get this going. Get a good base here. That's what the, the whole plan is. It's like that. Now we've got a good platform that we don't have to worry about, you know, screwing up. Okay, let's uh, clear this out. And uh, fill up on some more power. Look at our projects. The laboratory improved ore scanning would be nice. Solar cell, see we need tin, tin for that. That would help during the day. So let's see what our bar situation is. Let's see if we can't build some more conveyors. So there's another 25. So let's start the line for tin. And how I have these set up, I have this right here, which is allowed, it's allowing us to just go straight up how many more do we have left I'm not sure are we still going up yep okay so there's the end I'm also going to pull this and kind of subset it into uh, the base here and it's going to be a little tricky because of the, the drop off there. But we'll load this in right, oh, right there. So that's where it'll load in eventually. We are out of conveyors. So we need to come over here. I only have copper. So I actually need to manually move a little bit more tin in order to progress this. That's a conveyor, that's a storage. Unfortunately, all of the tin that was in there is now on the belt. And I don't have a hopper that I can use. So we only have six in there right now. It's kind of an odd number. I needed to be multiples of four. Because most of it is on the belt right here. So I'm going to need to get some more of that going before we can finish that line. 
And with the induction on there, it heats up faster, it smelts faster. All in all, it's just faster, which is nice. Um, so I've got lots of copper now. Not lots, 13 is not lots. 10,000 is lots, 13 not so much. I could use the slower conveyors uh, for now. I might want to. I might want to do that, just because, just to get the material where it needs to go, and then upgrade them later on. But these are agonizingly slow. Oh, I need one more set, I think. It's like that. See, these are agonizingly slow. This is so slow. And I'm on set of, I'm on fast conveyors too. So that tells you how slow those things are. Um, compared to these awesome gray ones that are sweet, sweet fast. Okay, what does it take for solar cells? So I wanna do this too as soon as possible. That will allow me to stay charged during the day and uh, give me a little better run on everything. So slowly bringing in tin. and it's smelting it. And as soon as this kicks off another set, uh, let's add some power to you. I'm not sure which will take precedent. I'm pretty sure copper will be able to sneak in. Yeah, it's so slow that copper is able to go in no problem. Um, however, I don't know when the line is saturated what will take precedence. So this is smelting tin, and it's slowly, as soon as that one gets in there, it'll have another one for some more ore. So now we've got both automated materials. It's just a matter of speeding these up because the <coughs> those are just way too slow. <clears throat> but now we need to dig down to find iron and... I am not sure if it's going to be easy to find. So there's a huge blotch of unknown right there. Uh, it looks like it's, it's going to be in my mine shaft. That could just be sand. It could be different kind of rock. Uh, it could literally be anything. So let's dig down there and actually see what that is. And I'm hearing the whistle of a gem as well. So it looks like it's bedrock. Yep. It's just bedrock. So that tells me that uh, that was an ore. It was just a type of rock that I hadn't come across yet. So I can research that to get rid of the unknown ping. So there's bedrock. Uh, laboratories, I mean, we're a little ways away from building a lab. We're gonna need to find another source of coal, which I think there's some right over here somewhere. All right, this thing is slowly creeping in. It's smelting a copper. It's got enough tin now. Make sure I don't have any ore on me. So I'm gonna to wanna to upgrade that as soon as possible. But that'll have to do it for this episode. So I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.